So tell us, uh, how did you track down the existence of this phone in the first place? And I'm going to talk about how significant it is, but how did you get a lead on this? Yeah, so when we, we got the laptop, we started searching through it for, obviously, Joe, Joe Biden, Vice President, VP, and we came across some references, JRB, for Joseph Robinette Biden. And so, you know, sometimes Joe, other, as, as well as the big guy, they'd refer to him as JRB. And one of the emails we found was between Hunter's assistant and Hunter's ex-wife's divorce attorney. He was going through this divorce with Kathleen. And this is another deadbeat dad story uh, of Hunter Biden. He was trying to dodge alimony and child support payments. And so they were emailing the divorce attorney all of Hunter's bills for the month and why he can't afford to pay more money. And among those bills, we found just six letters, AT&T, parentheses, JRB. And so that kind of sent us down a rabbit hole. What is this AT&T? What is this JRB? And come to find Hunter had been paying for over 11 years a, f- a secret phone line for Joe Biden. Now, we say secret because this, you know, the vice president, Secret Service would want to know the types of people who j- the vice president is communicating who might be you know, having leverage over him. And you know, this is an undisclosed phone line. And it's actually even worse than Joe Biden having a burner phone because this is proof, smoking gun proof, that his son was making gifts, undisclosed gifts. That's what a, you know, a bill payment would be. I mean, we calculated 11 years, more than $25,000 in payments that Joe has funneled to, I mean, Hunter has funneled to Joe in the form of this phone bill. And then on top of that, it wasn't just Hunter paying it from his personal accounts. He was using his Rosemont Seneca business account. And Rosemont Seneca is the business that the Chinese and the Ukrainians were funneling money to. So, you know, it's it's a so so wait, so Seamus, that would be that would be one of the companies that Joe Biden says he had no knowledge of because he never had conversations with Hunter Biden about this or anything else related to his businesses. But we're told now, and, and, and okay, so John Solomon calls the phone. Clearly, it's in Joe Biden's possession, so the number was accurate. Did you guys ever call it? Uh, we did, it didn't, there was no, there was no, uh, we never got through to anybody and it didn't have a, you know, welcome to the Biden family business voicemail. Uh, 